Hello, I'm Billy Badkins, director of the Center for Engineering at Highland Springs High School. Thank you for, in for your interest in our program, and we hope this presentation will answer many of your questions. Students that apply to the Center for Engineering enjoy working with their hands, are curious about how things work, and enjoy applying math and science skills to solving problems. The CFE offers a combination of rigorous coursework and fun hands-on projects. Our center is a full day program, not to be confused with the alternating day programs offered by the ACE centers. Students attend all classes at Highland Springs High School and it becomes their home school. All activities and extracurriculars take place at Highland Springs. Math and science skills are critical to success in the CFE. We have standalone courses for the first two years of math and science, and all classes are honors or advanced placement. Students that take geometry in middle school begin in engineering math two and advance to Calc BC. Additionally, students that excel in pre-calc can move direct, directly to Calc BC without taking Calc AB. Uh, a five on the BC calculus exam AP test can replace two semesters of college calculus. So you can see the great value in taking the AP courses and the AP tests. We have engineering specific courses. We have engineering specific courses for each year of high school. The first three years prepare students for the four dual enrollment classes that are offered by Reynolds Community College and taught by full-time faculty of the college. Students earn 12 transferable college credits from these classes. Combined with credits from the AP courses, students have graduated with our program with as many as 42 college credits. Practicum is an elective for 11th and 12th grade students that allows them to complete long-term individual and group projects of their own design. They learn project management, teamwork, and effective de design skills. It's not required, but many of our kids choose to take practicum, some taking it for two years. We also offer a rich menu of AP options from which students can select. This is another opportunity to earn college credits for just the cost of the AP test, currently about $92 much cheaper than college tuition, even at the community college level. We offer the gamut of extracurricular, including full fall, winter, and spring sports, and many interesting clubs and activities. Two groups that are closely linked to the CFE are the Technology Students Association, or TSA, and FIRST Robotics. TSA is a student-run organization that offers leadership opportunities and competitive events at the school, regional, state, and national levels. Highland Springs has had a successful TSA chapter for more than 35 years, and we have had numerous regional, state, and national winners. First Robotics was created by Dean Kamen, the designer of the Segway, as a competitive event for technically-minded students. Given new parameters each year, students design, build, and test a robot in only six weeks. This real life engineering challenge teaches and reinforces many of the skills students are taught throughout their time in the center. Transportation, transportation is provided by a hub bus system. Neighborhood buses collect students and drop them off at one of several hubs where students switch buses to be taken to their respective program locations. The morning buses are usually around the same time as elementary school. So it's pretty early. Uh, many parents choose to drop their kids off at the hub or even drive their kids to school. Our older students are usually the first in line, the first ones in line to get parking passes when they're old enough and lucky enough to be able to drive to school. So here's important information. Center applications for HCPS students must be completed online. The application will be available on November the 16th. Private school and homeschooled students must fill out a paper application that will also be available on November the 16th. 
All applications are due by January 15th of 2021. Our open house, our virtual open house, is Monday, October 26th, and we hope you will join us. Uh, if you have questions, please email me. The email address is at the bottom of the slide. Uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this video, and we hope you will apply to the Center for Engineering.